To understand the concept of descriptive programming, let's understand the significance of an object's name in QDP. An object name is simply used to map an object in script with its description in object repository. To understand this better, consider this statement which sets the agent name as Guru99. Let's change the name of the object from agent name to say ABC. In the object repository, I change the name of the object from agent name to ABC. Let's run the script. Agent name is set as Guru99, which signifies object name has no consequence on the object identification process. Let's revert back to our original script, wherein the name of the object is agent name. Let's do an experiment here. In the object repository, let's delete the object description for the object agent name. Let's run the script. Ideally, the script must fail, which it is. Let's investigate the reason why the script is failing. During runtime, QTP identifies that the operation is performed on the when edit box and the object description in object repository is stored as agent name. It uses this name to track the object in object repository. For a parent, you cannot have two child objects with the same name. Hence, QTP uniquely maps the object in the repository. It then uses the stored description in the object repository and replaces the name with the description. It then uses this statement to identify the object in the application under test. Since in our case, we had deleted this object description altogether, the script fails. But what if instead of QTP replacing the object description, you as a tester directly specify the object descriptions in your script? This is nothing but descriptive programming. You can use descriptive programming in two ways. Static dynamic. Let's look into the static method first. In the static method for object identification, you mention the object's property and its corresponding value, separated by a colon and an equal to sign. This format is called the property value pair. This pair is enclosed in inverted commas. If your object uses multiple descriptions for identification, you can specify them using commas. So in our case, the description for agent name becomes Next step is to replace the object name with the above description. As simple as that. In QTP, let's do the replacement. Please note that the object description is deleted from the object repository. Let's run the test. The test runs fine. 
in the test results the object agent name is enclosed in parentheses indicating that descriptive programming was used in its identification this is the static method the second method of doing the same action is using dynamic descriptive programming in case your script uses descriptive programming multiple times it will be very tiresome for you to specify all the property value pairs for each statement in such cases you can make use of the description class provided by qtp syntax for creating a description object is it can store property and corresponding value you can assign a property value pair to your object using the syntax so instead of using the static statement you can enter the dynamic statement in your script in qtp i have created a description object assign it the corresponding property value pairs let's run the script agent name is set to guru 99 if you check the test results again the object agent name is enclosed in parentheses indicating that descriptive programming was used that's all to dynamic descriptive programming